Okay, hi everyone. Time for some serious Isaac. I'm gonna try even harder today because I keep on dying. Um, another option is if I do die within 10 minutes, I could do another game. Seeing as I'm prepared to do like an hour playthrough, which is about how long it takes if you get far enough. Um, I could just say if I die early on, then I'll just do another one and it doesn't take up more time if you see what I mean um, okay these guys oh seems their range has increased slightly maybe because it's bigger oh it's moved to it's a pain gotcha right what we got here bombs more bombs excellent Okay, so see what's in here. <laughs> a chest in a chest. She used up our key, that's not so great actually. Teleporter. Useful, better than nothing. Useful to escape in a sticky situation. Let's get this. Um, blue one. Oh, it's another chest. don't have any more keys. Oh. Okay. Let's get that one as well. There we go. More bombs. Looks like the secret room is on the left here. Possibly. Shall we just. Let's just see. We've got lots of bombs. It is. Oh, and six coins. Someone pointed out the other day if you've got a shop next to a secret room, you can use a bomb to get into the shop which is a very good idea indeed so we've got a bible and more bombs maybe we should see if we can get five more I mean if we go let's, oh let's get the key and we can get what's in the um, chest though I noticed yesterday's playthrough I was very um, I saved a lot of money and stuff and um, didn't go in the shops and things like that and um, didn't go in the arcade and then I ended up getting killed by a fly and I thought maybe if I wasn't saving up and I just spend what I have just to make sure then I might have had you know I might have had a slightly better power-ups or something even if it wasn't the best available there's no point saving up if you then die so um, still only nine coins Duke of Flies. So today I won't be conservative with my coins, I'll just spend everything I have. Come on then, almost there. So I was in deep concentration there, okay. Get rid of these flies. Obviously have a phobia of flies now, since yesterday's events. Um, so let's speed up. Skip straight to it. Blue heart. Okay. 
couple of hearts there, they'll be helpful. Come on. Gotcha. Oh, something has been bugging me. You can shoot with the mouse. Um, you can't. You can still only shoot in two directions, can't you? Horizontal and vertical. You can't shoot diagonal. Yeah, that's okay then. I just that was really bugging me when I was thinking about that the other day and thinking, oh, I haven't been missing out, have I? Because you can shoot diagonal with the mouse, but no. So, I mean, the instructions it gives you in the first room, it says you see arrow keys, which is why I always have. So, if the mouse had an advantage, that would be really unfair. But it doesn't, so that's okay. So, we could go in that arcade. Um, no, that's not... <laughs> that's not very enticing, is it? Half a heart. She's key on here what we got purple one speed and damage with <laughs> growth hormones oh dear I've gone a bit elephant man so speed oh yeah I can feel the speed already so speed and damage that's cool um I think the secret room might be here nope oh well that uncovers the half heart should we need it for any reason um <clears throat> So I think I'll still leave that arcade for a second and if we find another key and the shop we can see what's for sale and then we can go gamble the coins if there's nothing good. We do have 10 coins though so... Oh. Right, sneaky meat is sneaking off. Come back here I say. I am the elephant Isaac. <laughs> Hurting my blue hearts. So, this is a shop here. Another heart. Oh, and that wasn't the secret room back there, was it? So, it is here. Yep, it's our favourite item. My favourite item, anyway. So we'll have that. Oh, so annoying. Right, what's this one do? Uh oh. Oh, stairway. Ow. Okay. Could have been worse. Yes, a key. Let's use this last bomb. Just what I wanted. Loads of refill hearts if you look on the map. It's just a shame I don't have more more heart slots. Um so there's a ladder and Oh there's another blue rock there. A ladder and a key and a tarot card. I guess we'll have to take the key and the tarot card and see what it is. Shame you can never see what it is before you pick it up. So that's strength, so I guess we'll use that. Depending what the boss is. If it's one I deem easy, I'll save it. Um, and I've got one coin to get into the arcade, but... Um, oh, I've just had an idea. Um... Let's do the boss first, anyway. It's Larry Jr. So I don't think I'll waste my time. But the arcade machine, the arcades usually have like a... Um, I was feeling a bit tight there, so I panicked. Um, I actually meant to use the tarot card, so I'm glad I pressed the wrong button, because that would have been a waste. Um, oh. Let's see what's available. Um, I think that I think that one's brimstone, so I don't really want it because 
it's one of those ones that changes your shot type and um, I find it a bit annoying I don't know what the cat does so let's take it parasite oh nine oh nine lives oh wow does that mean I've got nine lives I presume it does that would be insane Oh, and I can't actually do my idea now, so that saves time anyway. I was thinking because of the blood donation machine that gives you coins, I could go and donate blood in the arcade to get coins to play with and then go around collecting those extra hearts that I've, that I've left in the rooms to heal up again. But it would have been quite long-winded. Luckily, that deal has... Um, left me with only one heart so um, as you mind you I think the machine only takes half a heart but I don't want to find out the hard way basically um, can't get that coin annoyingly let's see what's straight on so we've only got one heart but if if I understand correctly we actually have nine lives, so have lots of attempts with one heart on whatever we have to do. We'll see though. If I die. Oh, what's going on? Right. Oh, bullet hell. Talking of bullet hell, um, there's a game's just come up on Steam that's apparently... It's in, I think it's an indie game that some people already knew. Um, but I hadn't seen it before. It's called Realm of the Mad God. And it's like a multiplayer. It's like an MMO, but it's really random. Um... And it's like you run around as a little pixelated character with like up to 85 other people on the same map and um, you just kind of shoot. You kind of just have to go and play it. It's really hard to explain but it's basically like a, um, like a, you know, like a shooter, a bit like Isaac in terms of gameplay where you just run around shooting spells or whatever, or arrows, or it's all medieval fantasy. Um, but it's really addictive. I played it for a couple of hours last night and had to pull myself away. So um, go and have a look anyway. If you enjoy Isaac, you'll probably enjoy the gameplay. Health up. Excellent. Very useful. Oh, Tarakod deck. Hmm. Let's see. Is that the devil? I think that gives us like a... Well, we can find out, I guess, can't we? Um, yeah, it gives you damage up. Okay. I think I still want to keep the unicorn, though, because that makes you... Um... Let's see if that... Yes, that life works. Oh, phew. Um... Oh, but I've lost my extra health. That's annoying. And that's not powered up. Okay. Let's see what we got here. But yeah, I might do a video of Realm of the Mad God, but um, it's I'm not sure how entertaining a video of it would be and it's um it's free free to play as well so you might as well just go play it yourself if i play it a lot though and i like level up really high or something in it then maybe i'll do a video just to show like what it's like at higher levels or maybe give tips or something if i um you know if i work out any neat tricks or anything but it's really fun you should go try it out. I 
I'm tempted to say, see if any of my... Oh, here we go again. I'm tempted to see if any of my friends want to do, like, a dual com of it, but, um... Again, it's really... The way it's set up is, like, you're kind of sent to a random map. I don't know if you can really group officially with people. So if you played it with someone you actually knew, um, you'd probably have a fight, a hard time finding each other kind of thing, because you'll just be sent to different random places all the time. But I don't know. I know there is a guild system once you're leveled up a lot, so maybe that helps. Um, but I'll have to look into it more and let you guys know. Oh, this is close. This is really hard with only one heart. I really need some more heart containers. And I totally got one, but then I seem to lose. Lo bleh. I seem to lose it when I lost my life. That's really hard to say that sentence. Um, what we got here? The fool. What does the fool do? Teleports. Let's go back. Get our other card. So I've still got seven lives. I've just noticed I can see up in the top right corner. So that's helpful. Um, might as well do this. What have we got? Common cold has appeared. I've got poison touch. It's, oh my god, they've all appeared at once. That's so unfair. What the hell? Do I still have poison touch? Ha <laughs> ha Cool, I got the item anyway. I guess I did. you tend to get a little bonus item for winning as well, don't you? So missed out on that but oh well so i don't have any bombs i have four coins i think bombs usually go for five coins in the shop though so not sure if we should look or not i guess we should because we've got the boss now so um yeah there's nothing useful but yeah we've got the boss so let's have to check really so i think we'll use our tarot card and Oh, it's Gerdy as well. Unless we can find that spot I found last time with Gerdy, I think I should use... So I'll see if I can anyway. Let's use everything we've got. Oh, now I've got my extra heart container back. Yeah. Am I experiencing some kind of glitch then? I don't know. Okay, might not be able to find the same spot because... Oh no, that seems to work. Oh, I don't know what's going on. Okay, well, now I've got no hearts. Something very weird. Some weird combination things going on here. So this means, uh, hopefully this means I'll die in one hit. Otherwise it'll be completely bugged and I'll be invincible or something. Yeah, okay, I died in one hit. Now I've got a heart back. What the heck? Okay. Just try our best to avoid everything. I think staying to one side is a good tactic. That's not hitting her. Apparently it's a her, Gerdy. I went and looked it up because of that bug and stuff. See if anyone else knew it. But yeah, the Isaac, Wi Isaac Wiki says that it, Gerdy is a she. Not quite sure how you tell. Unless Gerdy is actually a name. Yeah, I, mm, I could get into dodging these, I guess, but it's only one chance. Or two chances, I guess, maybe, if there's... Um, oh, that's how I kill those flies. It's um, I've got poison touch, I've got... Ah... Oh. Okay, I think this is my last chance. So yeah, remember this in future. Cat gives you nine lives, but if you don't have any hearts after taking it, it's not really worth it. It'd be great if I had loads of hearts, so or like at least three hearts and nine lives. That'd be amazing. But yeah, okay, so that's all for today. Um, and go and check out Realm of the Mad God as well. It's really fun. And I will see you tomorrow.